Tonight, we're also learning more about the suspect, Cody Harrison, who was also killed in that incident. You know, tonight, there are a lot of questions surrounding the shooting, including what Harrison was doing at that house. We now go live out to KSHB 41 News reporter Sarah Plake. So, Sarah, what have you learned about Harrison today? Cody Harrison was out on parole and crashing at this house, and now there are concerns about why he wasn't still behind bars when police officers showed up here on Wednesday. Cody Harrison had been in and out of jail for about half his life. He had a warrant out for his arrest when he opened fire on two police officers, killing one, Officer Blaze Madrid Evans. The officer's partner returned fire, killing Harrison. I was shocked to find out that it was him, honestly, because I didn't know that he had a gun. Lindsay Warden's brother was staying at the house on South Northern and East 24th Street where the shooting took place. She says multiple people were staying here, including Harrison. His life was just falling apart, and it was a bad time of his life. And he didn't care about, obviously, his own life, I guess. Harrison was convicted in 2011 in Clay County for shooting into a car while someone was driving it. He didn't serve his full 15-year sentence and got out early on parole. In November 2020, he was arrested and charged for burglary and stealing in Grain Valley. The Jackson County Prosecutor's Office said they recommended a $10,000 bond, but the court eventually let him out without bond. Then, at the beginning of September, the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office said KCPD picked him up for having a gun, but adds by the time they received the case on September 9th, Harrison had been out of custody for days. We're working to find out why. Harrison also didn't show up for a court hearing related to the Grain Valley case and had a warrant out for his arrest at the time of the shooting. Police told KSHB 41 News the officers came to the house on a tip that someone there was wanted in a shooting. But police say that person was not Harrison. He just happened to be there. I didn't know the cop, but I feel terrible for his family, his mom and dad, because I could not imagine burying my kid. I could not imagine. That'd be terrible. The prosecutor's office says that they did not decline to prosecute Harrison in connection to that Green Valley case, and they add that they requested the arrest warrant for when Harrison failed to show up for his court hearing. In Independence, I'm Sarah Plake, KSHB 41 News.